for the Bible and our protection, how we get that protection is right here in the Bible, man. You understand? And we are being destroyed left and right everywhere we turn, man. You got the projects in the hoods. You got the gun violence, the gang violence. You got police brutality. You got the abortion clinics. You got drug addiction. You got self-hatred. You got uh, uh, suicide. It's everything left and right that's trying to kill us, man. You got shootings that's everywhere in hospitals, in schools, in your neighborhoods. Black people, we are used to hearing the sounds of bullets, man. Bullets don't even scare an eight-year-old black little boy because we how, how used we are to it, man. What we have to understand is we need to seek the Lord's protection because if we do not get the Lord's protection, we will continue to die here in this kingdom, man. We will continue to suffer from the hands of our oppressor and a wicked, evil culture if we don't decide to, to shut up and seek the Lord's guidance, man. To seek the Lord's protection, man. You understand? Take me Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. Please. Come, come. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 54. Verse 17, Please. no weapon that's that is formed against thee shall prosper. Now, every black, every black Christian knows this verse, right? Read it again. So God, no weapon that is formed against thee uh -huh. shall prosper. Now listen, no weapon that's formed against thee shall prosper. That's what every black Christian loves to shout up and down. But in reality, every weapon that's been formed against us has prospered, man. Right. Every weapon that has come on our front lawn has destroyed us and murdered us. In your sleep. You understand? At your job, at class, we've been destroyed with every single weapon. So what are we talking about? What is our, what is the leaders, the black leaders talking about? Everybody got a tattoo and a famous quote and a wallpaper on their phone saying no weapon shall, that's formed shall prosper against me. Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but blacks and Latinos have been dying like an endangered species for a very long time. Right. Our blood has been being shed for a very long time. So you tell me, what weapon has not prospered against us. The abortion clinics ain't prospered against us. The drug addiction ain't prospered against us. That's a weapon right there. Right. Heroin was a weapon. Right. Crack was a weapon. Right. Weed addiction is a weapon. Right. You understand? Christianity is a weapon. That's right. You understand? And all of these weapons formed against us. So what is our leaders talking about? Why are we not getting the solution to these weapons that's been destroying us for a very long time? that's been locking up black men and throwing them under, under the jail system for a very long time. How come we didn't get the solution yet? But everybody want to scream up and down that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. You better take a look at the black community again. You better go look at the prison system numbers again. You better go look at the abortion clinic numbers again. Because we are dying at an enormous rate, man. Read it from the top again. Oh God, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 17. Uh -huh. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Well listen man, there's many tongues, there's many, there's many things that's waged against us. There's many weapons that's been waged against us. Our oppressive smooth words, that's a weapon that then prospered on us man. We believed in these words. We believed in the lies that come out of this devil's mouth man. So what are we talking about? Black and Latino people, we need to open up our eyes. The Christian church lied to you. You understand? You do have an enemy if you have not noticed yet. Your life is in danger without the Lord's protection. If you can go to school and not know if your school will get shot up, don't you think you need a little bit of a higher protection? If you can go to a bar, or you can go to a club, or you can be sleeping in your own goddamn bed, how you don't think that you need the Lord's protection, man? How are we not getting it through our minds yet that we are not safe in this kingdom, man? Every single way, you got black and Latino people on the front page of the news. How many times you turn on the news, your local news, and you see what's going on? You see another brother that died. There's been another. There's been another shooting in the neighborhood. There's been another police uh, police shooting. We ain't get it just yet, man. And we need to wake up and look and realize the truth, man. We need a little bit of a higher protection, man. Drop that scripture. Take me over to Exodus chapter 23, verse 22, man. We need to stop shouting that nonsense that no weapon shall form against me shall prosper. Because many weapons have formed against us. Many weapons have prospered in our neighborhoods, man. In order to get that protection, we're going to have to listen to the Lord. If I got this shield, and this shield is meant to protect, but I don't take care of this shield. I don't use this shield right. Then how could you expect this shield to protect you? How could you expect that this tool is supposed to do what it's supposed to do if you're not doing what it takes for it to be done that way? We got to follow, the answer is this. We got to follow what God says. Right. 
And when God says it'll be protecting us, you think we lying, man? You understand that black children can stop going missing, right? You understand that it's possible to get our babies to not get abducted, right? You understand that it's possible to have them babies and get a job? You, you, you know that it's possible, right? The problem is the Christian church has not had the answer, and that's what we thought had the answer, man. We wasn't taught this right here. Read. Verse 20, verse 22. Don't come. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 23, verse 22. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice. Read it again. Don't come. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice. The Bible is telling us that if we obey his voice, who is the his? That's talking about the Lord, man. That's talking about the Lord. If we obey our Father's voice. Go ahead. Don't come. Then I will be an enemy. Sucky. And do all that I speak. And do all that I speak. Not what you like. Not the top ten commandments like the Christian church teach. But the Bible said do what? Do all that I speak. The Bible says do all that I speak. In order to get this thing that we about to bring out here. We're going to have to do all that the Lord speaks. We're going to have to listen to every single rule that our Father laid on us, man. We're going to have to, we're going to, have to show some discipline when it comes to our life. And then we can be protected against these weapons, man. Then that's, this is what it takes right here. Read from the top again. Oh God, this is the book of Exodus, chapter 23, verse 22. Uh -huh. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice uh -huh. and do all that I speak. This right here is what's going to get God to be on our side again. Everybody want to shout, no weapon shall for uh, that form shall prosper against me. If you want that to be true, because it's definitely not true here in 2022. Every single weapon is prospering against black and Latino people, man. Every single one. So why? Why? Let that question mark linger there. Go ask your pastor, man. The answer is this. That we should obey God's voice and do all that he says. And guess what will happen? Read. Oh God. Then I will be an enemy unto thy enemy. Say it again. Then I will be an enemy unto thy enemy. Say it again. Then I will be an enemy to unto thy enemy. Listen, black people. God wants to be an enemy unto the people that are our enemies. Right. God wants that. That's what he absolutely wants. He wants to take vengeance over a people who have slaughtered us, right. who have imprisoned us, right. who stoned us in the church. Right. He wants to take vengeance on it. That's what God wants to do, man. So when we go open up our eyes, I tell you what, the Christian church love to speak love, love, love. But they didn't tell you that God can be an enemy unto the people that harm you, man. They didn't tell us that. They didn't tell us that the way to keep your children safe is to get God on your side. That's him. And let me tell you, he is one hell of an enemy to have on your side. You understand? That's ball game if you get the Lord on your side. That's ball game. That's an easy dub. You understand? Because the Lord don't like to see his children get bullied, man. Don't nobody like to see another person get bullied. But the Lord wants to teach us a lesson, man. The Lord wants us to wake up. The Lord wants us to separate from this oppressor, man. Keep reading. Come, come. And an adversary unto thy adversary. And an adversary unto thy adversary, man. That's what the Lord wants, man. If we obey the Lord, this thing right here, black people, we used to begging, uh, uh, begging for our lives to matter. And we begging to the Lord, but we're not doing what the Lord say to do, man. That's what we're going to have to get through our heads. We're going to get everything else. We done tried every religion. Somewhere on this earth, you're going to find black people being Hindu, Buddhist. You understand? You're going to find us dabbling in every single thing except the truth of the Bible, man. Except the thing that actually tells you how to live as a people. How you actually going to prosper. We done tried everything else. And how has it benefited us? It has it, man. We got to put that stuff down and pick up the Bible, man. That's what we got to do. Keep reading. That's it on that scripture? No sweat. Take me over to Psalms 97. We're going to bring out the truth in the Bible, man. And the eyes of the and the commander, Jenny Honda, we're bringing out the truth of the Bible, man. We need to understand that we need the Lord's protection. We need to be safe. Whether you like it or not, there's somebody trying to kill you every single day. There's somebody trying to finesse you every single day. And what you're going to find out is our wisdom does not work. We need to pick up the Lord's wisdom, man. Right. Our wisdom has failed us over and over again. Our wisdom told us that we should hold hand in hand. Ain't that what Martin Luther King said? How did that work? Huh? That devil that just shot up Buffalo, New York, guess what he did before the shooting? The day before, he sat down with black people. 
and he talked to them. Black people gave him the food stamp call, gave him the EBT call. You understand? But our wisdom says, no, they're not all bad. We should just love, love, love. Well, guess what, black people? Don't every, not everybody loves you. Your oppressor sure as hell don't love you, black man. Latino man and Native American Indian. Your oppressor has never shown you love. You understand? You got that scripture? 97 and 10. This is the book of, this is the book of Psalms. 97, verse 10. Ye that love the Lord, hate evil. That's the problem, man. The Bible says, ye that love the Lord, hate evil. When you see that we don't have the Lord's protection, it's because we have not been hating evil. As the days goes on, you black people are starting to wake up and see that our lives are in danger. We starting to see it. But how many more shootings is it going to take before we see that we should hate evil? And it's not just the wrong that's done to us by the police. It's not just the wrong that's done to us inside of America's military. You understand? It's every single thing that God said is evil. That goes from drug addiction and getting high. That goes to aborting our babies. You understand? That goes to the strip pole. It goes to all of that, man. We have to hate evil. We have to hate everything that's evil. And guess what? Everything that's in America is evil, man. America's culture is evil. Memorial Day is evil. You want to know why Memorial Day is evil, black people? Can anybody tell me why Memorial Day is absolutely evil and why God hates it? You want to know why God hates Memorial Day? I'll tell you. Because today, we forgot about Buffalo, New York. Somebody had to go grab the hot dogs and the sausages. Somebody got to go grab the collard greens and wash them. Right. Somebody got to go get all the food. That's why God hates America's holidays. Because we forget that we slaves in this kingdom. Right. That's why God hates Memorial Day. Because we forget. We forget. We do all of the crime when we die. But a holiday come around? Oh, snap. We got to link up. Who throwing the party? Who's throwing the party? Who on the grill today? That's why God hates Memorial Day. And it's in the Bible, Christians. It's in the Bible. God hates Memorial Day. Whether you like it or not, man. You understand? Keep reading. Now, God, he preserved the souls of his saints. Go ahead. He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. You understand? And the verse says, he that loved the Lord, man. Ye that loved the Lord. The Lord is going to deliver us out of the hand of the wicked. But you know what the problem is? You know why we all up in the hand of the wicked? You know why we dying so fast? You know why we dying so much? You know why we so destroyed? Because we don't hate evil, man. Right. We don't hate Memorial Day. Right. We don't hate it. We don't hate the coach of America. Right. We don't hate it enough. Because if we did, we would seek the truth. And the truth is inside the Bible, man. We don't understand what the Bible can do for us. You want to know why black men is weak? It's because we ain't we ain't hate evil. You want to know why sisters is, is weak? Because we ain't hate evil. You want to know why we stuck on drugs? It's because we ain't hate evil, man. That's why. You want to know why we kill our babies half a million a year? Because we ain't hate evil, man. We ain't hate what God said to hate. That's why we not perceiving the Lord's protection. Our babies would be safe in them clinics. If we hated evil, because evil is aborting your baby. You see how that works? Right. And then we get God's protection. That's a simple math problem, right? Thank you, sister. It's Grab your fly. You understand? That's what evil is. We would hate it. We would understand and we would know. You understand? Everybody want to talk stuff about the Bible. Do you know the Bible tells you never to trust your enemy? Right. But guess what we did? How many black and Latino leaders say no? Love, 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 love. Who has loved you? Who have loved you? Black people are saying, pray for Ukraine. How many Ukrainians pray for Buffalo, New York? Right. Huh? Everybody made a social media post, right? Huh? Everybody said, oh my God, I can't believe what's happening to Ukraine. There's bombs dropped in Ukraine. What about the bombs dropped on Black Wall Street? Right. That don't matter. What about the red summer of 1919? Right. Hmm. That don't matter. Who prayed for Black Wall Street? Crickets. Nobody did. You understand? That's why God says you have to hate evil. That's why. You understand? But that's the problem. That's why we have not received the Lord's protection, man. Drop that scripture. You understand? You got any more on that? No sweat. Hold on. Bear with me. Take me back over to Psalms 90. Take me back over to Psalms 97 and 10. You understand? Psalms 97 and 10. Take me back. No sweat. 
That's why we have to hate the Lord's protection, man. I mean, we have to hate, we have to hate evil and want for the Lord's protection. That's why. We absolutely need it. When are we going to open our eyes and say that, listen, what I think, maybe it's not right. I heard a brother say the other day, if our person said, if there's one thing I can give you, what would you ask for? And black people would not be able to come up with an answer. Thank you, sister. Grab your fly. You understand? Black people would not be able to give one solid answer. But we all got our hands raised and thinking that we know what black people need. How about we just understand what God said? Black people, Latino people, and Native American Indians, we need the Bible, man. That's what we need. And until we understand that, we don't have the Lord's protection, man. What are you going to tell your kids? What if your kid comes to you and say, Mom, Dad, how am I safe going to school? I can't get an education. Huh? What we should understand is our wisdom, that's not the answer, man. That's not the answer. Drop that scripture. Take me over to Psalms 55 and 20. I'd rather die like a man than live like a coward as a ghetto up in heaven and the sounds. Black power, uh, 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. One body, one face, one Lord. Feel like I can take over the world with one sword. 144,000 men on one accord. Not being in this army is something you can't afford. Agree, niggas across the board. Ain't no suckers around us. You was looking for the truth, well, that's how you found us. Now it's time to lace your boots up. We got the order from the king, round the troops up. Let's go to war and die defending this nation if we gotta. Ain't no stopping us now. The chosen people love the power, standing strong like a man. Cause in our camp, it ain't no cowards. Not avoided for grand. Nigga, it's step before the sun. Rather die like a man than live like a coward. There's a ghetto up in heaven and it's ours. I'd rather die 